Okay, we have another problem here on the board from MIT Integration B 2016, problem number four. It kind of looks intimidating, but it's actually not too bad. One thing we need to look out for, they seem to in almost every MIT Integration B is they use the re what's called the reverse product rule or what I call the reverse product rule. I think the signature of the reverse product rule is we always have, notice this could be split into two integrals. So we have it basically split on addition or subtraction. And then the two pieces, are very similar looking so that it could be actually this whole thing could just be the derivative of two things multiplied together the other thing i want to notice so they, they have they're adding the um, exponents here but this could be written as multiplication for example this here could be written as e to the e to the x times e to the e to the minus x times e to the x and then this piece the same way pretty much because it's so similar we could write like this so looking at it this way you know, it's interesting is when you, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And so we're gonna need an expression that just kind of replicates these two terms here are exactly the same. And then the thing is we're gonna be pulling, somehow the minus gets pulled out of this term. So I think what I'm gonna try is let's look at what happens. Let's consider our u equal to this and just see how that goes. So doing that, and again, of course, because we got two things, we're gonna be using the product rule. So we'll get the derivative of this first term is gonna be e to e to the x, but then we need to use the chain rule and we'll get an e to the x, which I'll put there. Um, and then this, we just keep this term. So we have e to the e to the minus x plus, then we're just gonna keep our first term, e to the e to the x, differentiate this term. We have e to the e to the negative x but then we need the chain rule again. So we're getting the derivative of, so now we need the derivative of just this piece right here. And that's gonna be a minus e to the minus x. And then what you notice is we just take this minus and bring it here. We have our whole expression exactly. So doing this, what we have is our whole thing is just gonna be du or one times du. So we're just integrating one essentially. And what we get is u plus c, we'll back substitute it here, and we have e to the e to the x times e to the e minus x plus c. But I think what I'll do, just to be polite, we'll write it the way they had it originally. I don't know why people do that, but that's just kind of the way it's done, is to try to maybe put it back in the form it was in originally. And that's it, MIT Integration B 2016, problem number four. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.